This is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And if you roll another blunt and keep your mouth shut, I tell you how we came to wicked nigga that called your mouth Black out, black out. of me when I raise my voice, I gotta shoot a fucking free throw to make my point, point, point. my wittiness, leave them stuck in the wind. And I know where yours is going to be once Poison Butterfly drains the last of your life points. You know, it really is a shame. If Yugi were here, he might have been able to prevent me. Prevent you from what? From doing this. I activate Berserker's soul. Now I must keep drawing cards. And for every monster card I draw, Breaker attacks. But what are the odds that I'll draw a monster card? <laughs> this sucks. ta -da! Monster card off! <laughs> ta -da! Monster card off! And oh, what a surprise! This next one's up. No, Yamate! Yugi! Hanase! The duel's over, Pharaoh! You won! You're right, Taya. I lost control. At the end of the day, this is just a game. It doesn't matter if I win, lose, or draw! Monster Cardo! Ah! Word, that video was funny. Worsely, I turned down the corridor or the hallway or whatever, since as soon as I clicked to get the the <laughs> to get the window like so I could play the game instantly just went to the next thing. Like what the heck? I guess someone's touchy. Not that I blame her. If if <laughs> so if I had a student like me, I'd hate him too. You no, know, I thought I used to think about I used to think that shit too back in the day, like <laughs> I don't know. It's like I've kind of been like a good student, but it's like at the same time I kind of been. I've also been like a little bit of asshole as a student too. It's like I wouldn't get in trouble, but I definitely speak my opinion. I don't think teachers ever like that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, All right. I trumped downstairs to the first floor. Stopped before a door at the edge of the hallway, bearing the sign J. Ryuta. 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 Door manager. I rapped sharply on the wood. Three times. She's like, neighborhood. Let me chill. Um, Mr. Ryoto? Ryuto? Ryuta? What is it? Nuclear war? What? No! Man. Don't feel like opening the door for anything less important. For real. I could open the door myself, bro. Like, locked it. Don't bother. I press my ear against the door, listening keenly. There it is, an action-packed orchestra strings, just barely bleeding through the wood, faint clanging of swords on the shield. Are you in a clan war, Mr. Ryota? Bah! A moment later, the door clicks open. Yeah, it's like I played too, my dude. Nah, let me chill. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna sip my coffee. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Rap to the flow. Rap to the beat. 
Yeah, I'll be spitting some heat. I'll be spitting some flame. All these haters is lame. Yeah, I'm a boss in the game. I do my thing. Girl, want some change? Yeah. Bro, rock anything, I'd be doing that shit, doing that shit. Everybody knows something straight from the brain, straight off the top. Said your girl, yeah, she gives so much brain, she gets top. Yeah, don't mean to flop. Yeah, just do a little hip hop. Yeah, and I got on socks. Yeah, matter of fact, your girl, let me chill. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's the false playthrough without a false, without a horrible false freestyle? <laughs> I like this song though. The office is mental. <sighs> the office is small in its furnishings, but fairly welcoming. Warm light encom encompasses the room. Like, really, would I really be saying this? Like, even if I'm describing this stuff. Like, is this third person or something? Like, so the warm light basically captures the room, highlighting the comfortable chairs arranged around a coffee table that bears a bowl of potato chips. It looks more like an office to a therapist rather than an office to a school dorm manager. In the corner, I spot a com a com a comely mahogany desk on top. Which sits Ja Rule. Yeah, we're gonna call him Ja Rule. <laughs> Effort. Ja Rule, Ryota, in a very dramatic fashion. You no, know I just might do the Ja Rule voice. Welcome to the. T you know, I'm a, I'm a chill. I'm a chill. <laughs> I was about to. I was about to. It's like up, 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 crazy, you be crazy, crazy, and then I'm gone. <laughs> but now nah, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do. I ain't gonna do that because I'll be laughing the whole time I try it. I don't know if y'all think if y'all think I should do the Jaru voice for this guy. Just um, just put it in the comments or whatever. Have you brought an offering to appease the Dark Lord? Okay, okay. Have you brought? Welcome to the room. <laughs> welcome to the Satan. Room. Have you brought an offering to appease the Dark Lord? What? Indeed, I have. Um, with an equally exaggerated bow, I present the book and the note for my teacher. I said Mr. Ryota's eyebrows scrunch in scrunch and confusion. The hell is this? Oh crud, I went back into my hood days. Let me chill. Um, what is this? I er, kinda got in trouble earlier for talking back. Instead of detention, the teacher convinced that I, <laughs> the teacher is convinced that I need more permanent a more permanent solution. Like help like death? I can help you with that, my dude. I mean I mean I can help you with that, sir. She was thinking more of the lines of counseling, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. But what the hell is this? Shakes the book empathetically. The curriculum that the teacher recommends for, you know, helping me. By brainwashing me. Alright, I'll put it where it belongs. He promptly throws it in the trash. <laughs> My dude! My dude! I was talking crap, but he he the homie now. You the homie. You you reached homie status. You at Rue. You you up there now, bro. You in the homie status. You 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 made it. Clap 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 clap. You 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 made it just doing that. Now to business. Let me read up on what exactly a teacher wants, and then I'm not gonna even do none of that shit. <laughs> His eyes drift over the paper that I silently hand to him. Oh boy, isn't this precious? Let me translate. Dear Mr. Rayota, 
I'm having trouble subduing a boy who actually has a brain and doesn't care for it. the inefficiencies of bureaucracy. <laughs> Really, it does, like, does she have like a heart on for me? Sincerely, a woman who was certainly the most born person in her graduating class. I choke back laughter as he crumples the paper into a ball and lobs it in the trash. <laughs> Yo, this dude is cool. <laughs> I got respect for bro. Like, oh my goodness. This guy's cool. <clears throat> Don't tell anyone I said that. Or I might get fired <laughs> for real. And then you'd have to be taking counselor from <laughs> from Mrs. Hanazawa. And then <laughs> where would we be? Consider the NDA signed. Mr. Ryota climbs easily against the chair, kicking his legs on the table. So how's the apartment? Still in one piece mostly. Get it here. And Phil? Phil, the little houseplant, the one I placed on your shelf. Your memory sucks more than mine, kid. Like, for real. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> I vaguely remember him putting that plant when I first moved into my apartment. Even to the point where he named it Phil. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I think, I think, I think he got hit. I think he got hit. Like, you know, Ricky. Hold on, let me check that. Yeah, that was weird. I thought her crackling. Alright, I'm still good. But yeah, I think he died. Like Ricky, you know? Like, shoot, that was a sad day when Ricky got hit. That's a bit odd. I thought he was a fake plant. Nope, looked fake on the outside, I guess. <laughs> but all real on the inside. A satisfied smile pulls at <laughs> Mr. Riotto's lips, and I suddenly realize the metaphor. We're not talking about plants, are we? Your optimism is expiring, kid. I would, I would have thought your answer to be the more contrary. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna check, cause I keep hearing. Now I'm hearing crackling. Nah. All right. So yeah, I'm straight. I don't know why I keep hearing. I don't know why I keep hearing, like, crackling or whatever, but it says I'm good. What people look real on the outside, but they're all fake inside. Something like that. It's like what young a young student I had before you. Um, I believe his name was Math Hoffer. Yeah, I believe his exact phrase was... Now those shit might sound real, or really mean, full of rage. At the end of the day, they don't mean what they say. My psychiatrist taught me that. Yeah, something like that. We were talking about plants. How was I supposed to know? Well, you know. Well, you know now. So now that you know, is your answer the same? Uh, yeah, probably not. Didn't even need to think about it, huh? It's truth. People who pretend to be genuine on the outside, but inside they're like some assholes. Mr. Ryota evaluates me for a moment. To my surprise, there's no judging in this gaze. Of course it's not, because like, dude hood. <laughs> yeah, in my playthrough he's hood. I said it. Oops. Yeah, I'll be there all week. Oh, wait, I can save right here. Alright. That works. Yeah. Man, I should have been saving. I, that's the first time I've seen that. Um, don't let you read the logs? No. Nope. Alright, shit, sure, don't want you. Alright, let's continue. I'll be here all week. What made you draw such a depression conclusion? I can tell that his mind's on fast track of 
psychoanalyst, childhood trauma, clinical depression, suicidal tendencies. Time to put that to rest. Because if anything should be blamed, it should be my 100% natural disdain for humanity. For real. power of observation if anything people like to be strong confident independent on the outside pull that away and what do you get hmm their heart then that heart must be pretty pathetic did I ever say otherwise? Like, <laughs> I agree with you, my dude. Shoot, if there's one thing that the hood has taught me, is you always have to have a strong heart. Now, shout out to my hood brothers, though, man. Love y'all. Don't don't mean to begin all that. It like shit, shit's really hard, like for real. Like that's one thing I'm gonna say. Shit is hard. But my people make it through. So I tell everybody, keep your head up. And do what you gotta do, I guess. Like they're gonna try and tell you wrong, but it's like they ain't they ain't in y'all shoes. Unless you're actually legitimately doing wrong, then you know who you is. But if you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do. No no no, I guess he didn't. Mr. Are you the eases from the topic and leans back on his chair drawing a planet from his drawer well if it were up to me I say that you're just like any other surely teenager going through the first throes of senior or senioritis but paperwork's been signed and you know <laughs> wait and you know how bureaucracy goes I thought our government was supposed to be more efficient since the, nas the national changes. Ha, you assume the mayor actually does anything important. Like, I grew up with him. <laughs> it's like I blaze one more Sundays. <laughs> he scrawls something down on his tablet and, right, and tabs on the screen. My phone buzzes gently in my pocket. Your teacher recommended that we meet every day. But honestly, who has time for that? Like, for real. We'll just play it by ear. And you let me know if you ever get the urge to murder somebody. Probably means you're due for another checkup. I check what he sent to me. A copy of the spreadsheet that tapes that taped outside his door. Revealing his available times. Wow. How do you have this much free time? Life as a dorm manager is swell, isn't it? I get to chill here all day. Play games and all that. Like talk to like talk to all like my girls and all that like you already know man and I see you doing your harem thing like I see I see it forming I've been hearing about you keep it up keep it up but you got a long way to go my dude what I thought you at least had some kind of job I do but I'll tell you in on the secret though the kids here don't cause much trouble not cuz they're angels not cuz they're born because they're too prissy like for real it's like they, if they grew up where I grew up, where Yakuza and all that was attacking me, like they wouldn't be so they wouldn't be so prissy. They don't want to get their manicure nails dirty with things like graffiti or booze. But they do need someone to cry to when they stub a toe, and the other teachers seem to think that a fit that I fit the job description like for real. Like they act like I grew up where they grew up. <laughs> like I didn't grow up where they grew up and actually it's more likely that they don't want to deal with the hormonal brats so instead of being a helicopter parent I get to be a bench warmer who just nods and smiles every few minutes oh like me like I knew there was something that was cool about you bro well you'll be more interesting than the rest of them I hope that sounds like an academy nut <laughs> sounds like the academy in a nutshell Half the people are too snobby to be fun, and the other half are too lazy to care. What do you get to hear? Wondering about grades? Toxic relationships? 
sometimes, but not always. Sometimes, <laughs> at any rate, I can't exactly complain. It makes my job easy. Thank you for your massive contribution to society, my dude. You're absolutely welcome. They seem to equal yours. <laughs> I snort and he chuckles. <laughs> Yo, this dude is a G. Yeah, it could have been really painful if I didn't, if I hadn't gotten Mr. Ryota. Well, as your loving, caring, and awe-inspiring mentor, I can hardly keep you from the beauty that is Club Recruitment Day. Oh no, I'm fine, really. Off you go. Take a selfie and send it to me, my dude. <laughs> or I'll schedule an appointment tomorrow. But that's... You said you need to expand your opportunities. Broaden your horizons. Go where no man has gone before. It's like you need to have, like, a 20-woman harem. Not, like... Not a five woman, like yo, just, just, just like a, a whole harem. Oh, is that a pun? Wait, but and most importantly, you need to get out of my office so I can check my clan. Like for real, I was busy. Oh, that's just sad, Mr. Ryota. Well, domination calls, and so do my girls. See ya. And without another word, he shoves me out. And slammed the door in my face. I have no choice but to head to the school courtyard. It doesn't take much time to find Mazzaro behind the track table, armed with a I Heart Track flag and a I Heart Track posters and the I Heart Track headbands and the I Heart Track like shirts and the I Heart Track shoes and the I Heart Track Gucci belt. <laughs> like, the I the I heart track Louis Vuitton like bag the I heart <laughs> track glasses the I heart track you know let me show <laughs> I say the hoodies let's see I get this vague feeling that he loves track <laughs> he welcomes me enthusiastically immediately put howling all admin duties on me but true to my word, I proceed to be completely useless through the recruitment process. Eventually, Masato seems to give up, handing me a simple sign to wave around. I amuse myself by coming up with tr truly terrible pitches. Want a six-pack? Join track. Looking for health hacks? Join track. Get a knack? Join track. Rid your lack? Join track. Pick up the slack. Join track. For reasons unknown, Mazzaro seems to love this. He grins and slaps me on the back. Join track. 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 Yes, I get on the fucking rap. Yeah, yeah, join the track. Yeah, yeah, I want a snack. Yeah, yeah, but I'm joining the track. Yeah, yeah, I got the knack. Yeah, yeah, said join the track. Let me chill. I said on the beat, on the track. <laughs> That's a <the> track. <laughs> there you go. You just need to apply yourself. See? Feel it. Feel the rhythm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that those glances we're getting from my classmates aren't looks of admiration. <laughs> Despite my obvious shortcomings, Mazzaro hooks four recruits into the track. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that he got that many. A lot of attendees of the school are the richer, lazier kids. Also notice that he seems to be a lot easier on them than he was on me. When the club recruitment fair is done, everything's torn down. Mazzaro and I head to school entrance to wait for Rue and Yakiiko. For reasons unknown, Mazzaro is ecstatically chatting about my newfound enthusiasm. You killed it today, man. That's the kind of track spirit we need. Great. I might have just got myself into trouble. Well, I guess I was in track for most of last year. Might as well do it again this year. To him and then... Uh to him and then I said Jesus on a gravy stick of mother low we could use a man with your skills 
And so he saw the track with the blood from his veins, thereby permanently joining the trauma club. Wow. I can't believe you're so good at recruiting people. You know, they said, <laughs> you know what they said to me? What? What? Something like, get a life, you're just in denial about reality. Well, darn my socks. Youths these days are so cynical. The two come to a halt as Mazada waves rule over. Well, uh. Well, looks like you guys have plans. I better leave you and Yama, I mean you and everyone else to have a nice time together. <laughs> She's like, what? What are you talking about? It's more babysitting duty. Where, where I'm the babysitter, and I and I have to make sure a bunch of kids won't, you know, sit sit at the house and on fire and stuff. Oh, come on! He's your best friend, isn't he? And your childhood friend. Uh, yeah, but have you guys made a childhood promise together? What? No, no way. Really? Really? Those kind of things are are more cliche than explosions in an action movie by Michael Bay. <laughs> exactly. Well, think of it this way. Although explosions may be cliche, they're also a staple. We can't have the a proper action movie without proper explosions from Michael Bay. It's the same with life. You can't have a proper childhood friend without a proper childhood promise. I wince. Does she have to mention romance? Like, really? Uh, oh, look. There they are. Guess I'll be good and going. Have fun, Storm in the Castle. Oh. <laughs> Oh wow. She slick for that. The girl cheekily skips away as Rui sprints to us for, re for refuge. I try for a smirk. <laughs> Looks like you and Akira had a <laughs> productive recruitment day. Akira Karubi. Karabi. Kur Karubi? Anyway. Ryu's best friend, current roommate, and self-appointed matchmaker. Another person who I don't get along with. Do I get along with anybody? Also, like, but let's be honest, I don't get along with anyone. Oh wait, do I even? Do I really get along with anyone? Akira sure was productive. I barely had any luck. I noticed that she's mastered herself surprisingly quickly. Well, I guess that 10 years of make-believe and drama club would do that to you. How'd you guys do? We got four new recruits. 15 liters of flesh blood. What? 15 liters? Did you just pull that number out of your head? Or is that actually legit? Real, woman. Because it's legit. Average weights 55 kilograms. The average teenager has a blood volume seven percent of his or her total weight. We got four. We got ourselves four new recruits. Ryu's eyes are already swimming as he raves on, seemingly unaware of the curious glances from the four from the freshman who pegged him as a rough thug. Assuming no one's anemic, we got five. We got 55 times 4 in total kilograms, which is 2,000. No, I'm just kidding. Which is 220. Multiply that by 0 0.07 for the weight to the volume blood ratio. Bam! 15.4. Round it down to 15 for a nice round number. And we got ourselves 15 liters of flesh blood. Yo, my man just went like. <laughs> My man just went crazy. This dude just went crazy. <laughs> He's like, what about a woman in the movie? 
So this is how we move it. <laughs> Yeah, this dude, was, this dude was watching that rap battle. Don't worry, it's gonna come a joke when I can actually use that. So when it come, be prepared. But I doubt it's gonna be anytime soon. And this is why Masato is really good at catching people off guard. Like for real, I can't believe you actually calculated that. Why? It's no trouble. Sure sounds like trouble. Hell no. Nah. We should see what we do on Honor Society. Oh yes, Honor Society. Not only does he participate in it, he's the president. Wait, he's the president? Oh, did I not mention that he's literally good at everything? Athletics, academics, heck, probably even art. Except scar sarcasm. That's the one area I can trump him in. The only area. Oh, he comes the here comes the great Yakihiko Akari. Sure enough, a familiar shock of blonde pops <laughs> pops around the corner. Yakiko's beaming, but I notice that he's not holding a single signed page in his hand. Good day to you, my pitiful peasants. You've arrived just in time to witness my brilliant plan. Technically, he was the one who came to us, but I'm <laughs> stay silent. You guess I decided to create my own club, a club worthy of my immensurable greatness. I, I was not paying attention to the word. This dude just talks like mad shit. In other words, he got rejected by all the other clubs. Oh boy. You're making a club? Good for you. I know. I'm going to call it Happy Club. And it will be comprised of minions who will follow my every day. And hopefully a harem too. I think we just witnessed the creation of the shadiest club on campus. <laughs> like, for real. We will start by taking over the school, then Ishimu, then Japan, and then the entire world. Whoa, bro, you can't say that. They will, they will swat you quicker than a Twitch gamer. Do I get that? Wait, was that the one? Was that the one? No. Forget it. I'm keeping it in though. That was a good joke. Well, at least he doesn't lack ambition. And once my mansion on the moon is built, we will have dominion over the universe itself. Um, I'm pretty sure E.T. is not going to let you do that, man. But he does lack brains. What you guys talking about all secret like? Hmm, nothing. We just um talking about how we weren't, <laughs> how we haven't gone to the GFC in a while. As completely unconventional as this excuse is, she successfully turns Moscato's attention to food. GFC, I like the way you think, Ryu. Rui, it is. Like Popeye's chicken and all that. I like, I like. Hold on, y'all, I'm gonna save here. Just in case. Never know what can happen. We better go now before dinner rush starts. He marches off humming cheerfully as Yakiiko blathers on about how amazing the new club will be. Great cover. I know. Totally inconspicuous. Just as inconspicuous as the time you wore a kimono. Chill, 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 don't, we don't bring that up, we don't bring that up, we don't bring that up, of course she'd bring that up, you wanna get tickled, you wouldn't dare, bet, whenever you mention anything about kimonos, I feel a sudden urge to tickle the nearest person, uh, we better get going, we should follow Masato and Yakiiko to the GFC, yeah, she speeds away before I have <laughs> the chance to stop her. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I only chuckle to myself as I catch up. As we make our way to the lively shopping area, a few blocks away from campus, a couple of details catch my attention. 
Okay, so far I like this game, huh? I like it. It's like I don't have to. It's like I don't have to put like too much effort into like. I don't. Yeah, I don't have to put too much effort into being me. Like, Yama's. Yeah, cause Yama's like me in a in a mean sense. So it's like it just works. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Uh, there's endless posters and billboards plastered with face of politicians. Brawl candid smiles proclaiming bowlers back to uh, back to prosperity. The recession is over. Do more with more. Upon strolling, upon strolling tablets and giant projected screens. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some water. I'll be back. Be right back. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna finish this off. Cause I only got seven minutes. And then that's another episode out the way. That's normal. There's the smoker and his buddy, the random drunkard, the group of tourists, the clutching electronic pamphlet titled Welcome to the Glorious Metropolis of Ishmael. While taking pictures in front of everyone. Mm. Most of all, the ordinary issue might power walking down sidewalks with resumes clutched in their hopeful hands just like the just like the guy that's narrating this I'm like y'all in the fourth wall breaking I swear forget y'all too <laughs> everything is normal completely normal so why do I feel so uneasy maybe it's the skyscrapers I never liked them they're too tall and I always get the impression that they're watching me like somebody's watching me I'm looking at the viewers. Now nah, let me chill. <laughs> Let's see, not like Guardians either. Like some benevolent, <laughs> uh, I did not mean, I destroyed that word. Like some bene benevolent force that's watching over the city. Mm. Sorry about that, y'all, I need some water. More like staring, waiting for the right moment to strike. And then there's a the smog, the terrible, musky population that sits on my skin. Like a coat of hard mud. Every breath is disgusting, but every breath is necessary. I hate the city. I really do, yo. Too bad there's nothing better. Not really. Too bad that Ishmu has always been the best, if not only an op option. Pay attention, you idiot! I'm startled at my thoughts by my son grabbing my arm and yanking me out of the street. Do you not see the red light? Red means stop. And stop means benevolent reaches. Uh, stop means your velocity reaches zero. You could have been ran over by a truck. Despite myself, I'm touched by their concern. I'm fine. Let me go. Let's go. I'm sorry. Shoot. After eyeing me for a long moment, Yaki Eagle shrugs and bounces to the GFC automatic doors, activating an emotion center with flourish. Ladies first. Lady, where? Right here. She slaps a hand on my shoulder with a cheery grin. Oh, good one. You mean Yama's been a girl all this time? Oh, heavens no. That'd be really awkward. Considering. <laughs> well, hold up, I, could, I, I don't know what's the I don't know what's the symbol for like thoughts. So we all know she wants me. I mean Yama. <laughs> we all know she wants me. Why? Let's go have some chicken. Boy, I'm so hungry. Fried chicken. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I knew this was... <laughs> I knew this was... You know, I knew they based this off of KFC. <laughs> they is funny bad for that. They are funny bad for that. She quickly skips into JFC, leaving Masato thoroughly bewildered. All right, y'all Japanese. I don't get it. Why? <laughs> so, I don't get it. Why is it awkward? Beats me. I want some chicken. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea. But there's no way I'm bringing it up. Look, are we getting chicken or not? Like, I'm kind of hungry, man. And that means I might be able to give you all three episodes in total today. 
Maybe even more. If I do these half hour each. Yeah. Yeah, if I do these half hour each, I think I can get y'all like maybe two two or three more. Alright, let's continue. <clears throat> of course we are. What do you take me for? Let's see, well, good thing that neither he nor Yakihiko are very perceptive. Hmm. I think this is good. Yeah, this is good here. Alright, y'all. So, next episode, we're going to K, I mean, GFC. Bitches say they wanna cuff me, I'm hip. Low key, they just wanna fuck me, I'm hip. Niggas going broke, buying liquor, trying to get bitches drunk just to hit. Talking down on the hoe, but low key, he in love with that bitch. I'm hip. Man.